everyone and welcome to Asami Rat Care. Um, so today we're going to do a video about um, a particular bastard of a health problem. Um, not one I particularly want to be doing a video about right now, um, but it's one of those that you kind of take the opportunities when you can. So we're going to be talking about Zimbel's gland tumour. Um, Zimbel's gland tumour is a tumour which is effectively of the ear and we've got an example here um, of Moomin. So I'm going to try and show you. Um, it's quite difficult to see because she's wiggly and doesn't really want to stay still. But the tumour is... Let's just get up close where I can hold her because I miss. Just sitting just here. So it's below the ear and it's slightly in front and it's sitting very much attached to the jawbone. And to give you a bit of an example, well, it's kind of like you can see it when she looks kind of straight ahead sometimes. It's not currently that big. Um, I picked it up yesterday, day, be day before, probably day before. She's had it a couple of days now. Um, it, it's small, but it is there. It's quite significant. Um, Zimbel's gland tumours are bastards, um, <laughs> to put it simply. Um, they're the kind of tumour you can't do anything about. Um, and that's because it's basically involved. It goes into the kind of like glands around the ears and tends to affect the jaw and it's it's not removable basically it's kind of so deep rooted and it's so solid that there's nothing you can do now i will say not every lump in that location is a zimbal's gland tumor they can get abscesses of, of kind of like that area just below the ear as well um but so you can tell the difference in some cases so you get kind of three basic options you get a zimbal's gland tumor which is a solid tumor it's bloody hard um, sadly you can't kind of feel this on moomins but i have no doubt that it's a tumor and not um, an abscess because it is solid it is it is completely fixed it feels like bone effectively um, it, it is kind of like that um solid and kind of unmoving so i'm not going to brine moomin with malt paste and stay still now you can sometimes get an abscess combined with a tumor and that will feel a little bit softer it'll grow generally a little bit faster um, or you can get an abscess and again that will feel a bit softer and grow a little bit faster. The problem is if you've got something that feels a bit softer and is smelly, you sometimes get a discharge from the ear, um, you don't know whether it is an abscess or an abscess with a tumour underneath it. And in my experience it's actually slightly more common to get an abscess with a tumour underneath it. It is, it is not particularly common to just get an abscess on its own. But that's what we all hope when we see that kind of like lump there. Um, so what do you do when you find a lump? Now, if you do find it and it is solid, um, it, then just just assume it's a Zimbal's gland tumour, which is where I am with um, Moomin. If you find something that you're not sure about, then the first thing to do is go to the vets and ask them to do a fine needle aspiration. So fine needle aspiration is basically sticking a needle into it and seeing whether they can draw out any pus. If they can't, um, then it's a tumour. Um, and there's kind of little you can do. If they can, then it's potentially an abscess. Um, there may still be a tumour there, but it's worth trying um, because if there if it is an abscess, then you may be able to treat it, you may be able to resolve it, and the rat, rat might be able to go on to live a happy life. If there's still a tumour underneath it, it will grow despite tackling that abscess, um, and the kind of prognosis is not good. So um, if it's an abscess um, or it's got an abscess component, First thing you want to do is put the rat on antibiotics, and I'm not talking Batril. Batril doesn't do a lot with pus. What you want is metronidazole and coamox. They're kind of like both, um, I should say metronidazole, sometimes called flagyl. Um, that's its brand name. Um, it's horrible, rats hate tasting it, but it's really good against um, certain kinds of bacteria. And um, coamox is often called Cinelux, um, claviceptin, novoclav, clavamox. It's got quite a lot of different names basically penicillin, um, both of those in combination, they tackle different kinds of bacteria and they're both very good against both pus and facial abscesses. So they're really good ones to, to put on. Um, and then you want to see the, tu the tumour or mass or abscess go down um, or pop, load of gunk come out and then heal over dryly. Um, when I say dryly, it kind of like turns into a cav ca cave. <laughs> you don't want to see any push there. You can flush it and keep them on the antibiotics and then hopefully it will not come back. If it does come back, even if it comes back as an abscess, then the likelihood is it's got a tumour at the root of it. 
So what if it is a tumour? Um, I'm afraid there is, like I say, there is nothing you can do to remove the tumour. And added to that, Zimbal's gland um, tumours are unpleasant. Um, they're painful. Um, as they grow, they slowly start distorting um, the teeth. And I don't know if you can see this, but I've literally just noticed. Let's see whether we can get her to kind of show her top teeth are actually ever so slightly out of line with the bottom teeth and that's already um, and that is a case of two days and I don't doubt that a very small tumour formed before I picked it up but it is so small that you can barely see it at the moment um, as it gets kind of bigger it will force a jaw, jaw out of line um, if it gets to the point where it ruptures which they do when they're massive um, it will cause massive amount of pain and probably break the jaw um, it's not something that you want to let a rat go through um, so it's very much um, movement is is basically going to be put to sleep um, today. Right, sorry, continuing. Um, yeah, so putting the rat to sleep is genuinely the kindest thing you can do. It's difficult because you look at the rat, the rat is in kind of like great shape, loving, a f loving food, loving life. Um, but if you observe Moomin for any length of time, you'll notice that she shakes her head now and again. Um, I mean, every rat can shake its head, um, but she'll do it kind of like just a quick shake here and there, um, grooming a little bit more than normal. Um, while she's not in any obvious pain, those are all signs that she, it's hurting her, it's bothering her, like she's having another wash. Now, rats are very clean creatures, um, but you'll find a rat with a Zimbal's gland tumour will typically start kind of shaking the head a little bit more. They'll start kind of washing a little bit more, um, clearly wanting malt paste, but that's just a permanent rat condition. Um, and that is all signs that it is starting to bother with them. Um, rats are prey animals. Um, prey animals do hide pain very well. And while she's not showing you kind of that really classic um, kind of side sucking, hunched, fluffed, she's spending more than normal just looking a little bit off, a little bit miserable. So I know I can't keep her alive any longer in that. What I could do is I could put her on pain meds and I could put her on quite a high dose of pain meds, but that doesn't change the prognosis. That doesn't change um, what's ultimately going to happen. It just de delays the inevitable and meanwhile she's not going to be um, comfortable or able to be fully herself. So that's really kind of why I'm making the video. Um, I've seen a lot of people push rats too far with Zimbal's gland tumour. The temptation is always there, you want to do everything you can for them. Um, but actually when you're sure it is a tumour, and, and I do say if you, if you think it might be an abscess it's worth a try. Um, but don't leave them too long um, and once you are sure it's a tumour don't wait um, like I found it a couple of days ago um, me and Moomin have spent several cushion cuddle sessions um, she got a pick of pretty much every food in the fridge today um, she really really likes cheese um, they don't normally get treats like that but do something like that have a couple of days before they're showing signs of pain and now today I was just sat with her and she just started shaking her head um, couple times which I haven't noticed from her before and it's like that's it that's that's the kind of kindest thing to do for her that's time um bear that one in mind and if you're going through a Zimbal's gland tumour I'm really sorry because it's one of the it's probably not my worst my worst is a pituitary tumour um, but it's close because both of them you can't do anything about it um and it's really horrible um but some things like that happen and we've got to do what we can as a rat owner which is making sure the rat has a lovely happy life and a peaceful end. Um, so over and out from me and Moomin. Um, and uh, I'll catch up with you next time.